Queen Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is episode 205. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. What's up, Facebook? Listen, if this is your first time watching, put a one in the comments, for real. Even if you're watching a replay, put a one in the comments so that I can welcome you for the first time, right? Hey, Dawn. Hey, Kedrick. Hey, uh, definitely Danny. Hey, Miss Lala. Hey, Wendy in Cayman Islands. What's up, Orlando, Deneen, Rochelle, Inner Circle in the house. If you're an OG member, you've been watching me for a while, we go together, we cool. Put OG in the comments, please, so I know that you are just an OG member and I appreciate your support. What's up, Tanika? What's up, Heaven? Right? If you um to so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. Happy Wednesday. Look, today is a work with me Wednesday, every single Wednesday on my IG channel, Instagram, actress Christine Horn. I take you along the day with me. Some weeks are boring as hell. Some weeks are fun. Today I had an audition. I had some training I had to do. I've switched wigs three times. This is my third wig of the day. I'm feeling very New York. I got like my white tee on. I'm feeling like a little like pumped. <laughs> Um, but tonight, listen, we're gearing up. Of course, we're all gearing up for the holidays. Thank you all for the birthday love last week. I had an amazing birthday last Friday. I felt all your love. I got your messages. Um, had a really lovely day at the spa. I went salsa dancing. Shout out to Ebony and Karen, who I went salsa dancing with. Um, and uh, we're back. And as most of you are getting ready for the holidays, spending time with your friends and family, I am getting ready to do the same thing. I'm headed to the ATL on Friday. But I am also um, prepping for the launch of a very special program called Book More TV. Um, and I'm really excited. It's going to be a five-week program. You're going to hear all about it. I'm going to be doing webinars that are going to be teaching you some extra goodness even before the class launches. So you're going to hear all about it. So I've been trying to tell you guys, put your coins to the side because you're going to want it and the window to join is going to be very small. So just know that I've given you forewarning. But tonight, I want to send love, big ups and shout outs to the Hollywood bound actors that are in my community. So if you're new to me, you know, ladies, you don't you don't know if you want to keep that hair to the front or if you want to sit it back. I'm gonna just put it to the back for now. I don't like it though. Let's put it to the front. I feel I don't know. I just want it in the front. This is the stuff we go through, man. We just <laughs> we don't know how we want our hair to be. And I should have bought the brush in here. Um, I'm playing. I'm cleaning out my wigs, my wig basket. So I'm trying them all on before I throw them away. Anyone else do that? Maybe it's just me. Um, <laughs> But listen, so, okay, here's the deal. Let me focus. I have a Facebook group called Hollywood Bound Actors. Not only is it a Facebook group, it is a movement. It is a community. You've probably seen us. We have a, there's a podcast called the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast. Those of you who come to Atlanta to see me at Bronzeland's Film Festival, we had Hollywood Bound Actors representing, booking magnets. That is just what we do. Booking magnet is what I call myself. It's what I call my community, every single one of you, right? But if you're not a part of that Facebook community, please join us. Instagram, the link is in the bio. Just click the link. You should see an option. Scroll and join. Facebook, you may be watching from the, the, our page now. If you're not, the link is above or below. But what happens is every Wednesday, um, my assistant helps me. Her name is Razelle. Shout out to her who keeps me together, honey. Razelle, um, thank you, Marilyn. <laughs> Marilyn says she loves my hair. The hair of the hour, honey. It's changed twice today. Um, Razelle helps me to welcome, everything's backwards. Razelle helps me to welcome my new members every Wednesday. And every Wednesday when we welcome new members, we ask that you post a headshot. If you're in the group, you already know we do this. We ask you to post a headshot and we ask you to ask, you know, where are you struggling? Where are you having issues? Where do you need support? And what I was trying to do, I literally, I sent an email to my mailing list. If you're on my mailing list, you know this. I was like, I'm going live around 8.30-ish. And I literally been trying to go live and I just couldn't get Zoom, the video conferencing to stream to Facebook how I wanted. Because I wanted to share my screen for you guys on Facebook so you could see, I could, you could see, cause we've been doing this for the past two years and I wanted to just send extra love. So what I'll have to do instead is set, say a few names 
and at and read their questions. And this is something I plan on doing uh, for the rest of the month, just to really acknowledge our community. We have the one of the most supportive actor communities out here. Um, this isn't one of those that's just you get to promote all day and night. We do encourage you get to ask questions, um, but I wanted to acknowledge the people who are here. So in with since I cannot share my screen right now. Even Facebook has a new thing where you can share your screen, but I'm not set up for that today. So we're just going to skip that. We're going to roll with the flow. So you're not going to see it, but I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go to my welcome. And this was from August 14th of this year. And I'm just picking random people. So if you know these people, tag them, or maybe we'll tag them later. And Instagram also take your questions. We're kind of asking anything as we gear up for Bookmore TV, any TV questions that you have. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a good one. Uh, a lot of people are just saying uh, what they're looking to learn. Shout out to Debrika Wright Person, who says she is um, looking forward to gaining knowledge and networking. I'm looking for a question I saw earlier. Oh, shout out to Marita Delara Sobel. Anybody know her? Tag her. She says um, she's blessed to have good reps but she needs help with mindset and prep and innovative marketing. So let's speak to that for a second. If you're just hopping on, I'm just sending love to my Hollywood Bound actors who are in our Facebook group, who have, show, showed, who have shown up and asked the question. So again, Marita Delara Sobel, um, if you need help with mindset, we all do, right? This this in industry is hard. All of you were this this last week we're in is where everything's slowing down. I had an audition today, but expect next week is dead. Christmas is next week. Nothing's happening, right? So this is the time as we head into the new year to think about the stuff that you want to happen, the, the things that you want to experience, the roles that you want to uh, to be in. And I'm doing this for myself and thinking about not just hoping somebody books me one day and I hope to have um, an opportunity, but I'm also in the space of creating and what can I create for myself? So that's a big mindset thing. Also, not this isn't just a plug for me, um, Marita, but you may want to check out my book, Playing Small, The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet on Amazon and Audible, because that is very I, a big game changer about mindset. That's mine, but also my friend Dave Pileggi, has a new book called 52 Pillars, which may also help you with mindset as well. And it, if you're a faith-based actor, that may really resonate with you. Okay, I'm gonna um, go to someone else. Again, I'm just looking at some of our, our members in Hollywood Bound Actors. I go through these personally and like to just see what you guys need help with. And if you're online, if you're watching me in real time, feel free to ask me a question where you're struggling and I might have a resource for you. Um, Britt Michelle, if someone knows Britt Michelle, give her a shout out. She says she needs help with a cover letter and how to land TV roles in movies. So Britt, um, look out for Bookmore TV. That's coming January 1st. If you need help with cover letters, oh my gosh, my friend and fellow coach in the game, his name is Brian Pataka. He has an awesome community online called the Actors Salon. And I actually, I took it off my link, but he has some a great freebie called um, Dear New Agent. And I'm actually, if you're on my mailing list, I'm gonna send that out this week so that if anyone's looking for a new agent and they're looking like, how do I write a good cover letter to an agent? He gave me a great resource that I could share with my community. So. Be on the lookout for that and be sure to follow Brian Pataka at the Actors Salon on Instagram. Let me come to you guys in real time. Um, let's see, Orlando Usher. What's up, Orlando? He says, and this guy, this is just this is Actors Daily Bread, episode 205. We're just chilling. I've got my wig on and my dookie earrings on. We just chilling. Ask a question, okay? Um, or Orlando, I want to say Orlando. I gotta get my mouth right. Orlando. Orlando says, um, he says, hey, Raven Drummer, who's the cast and director for Tyler Perry Studios, FYI, did the did Actors Minute Monday? Yes. The question was along the lines of not being discouraged because the roles we audition for, because that's, that specific role may not be for you. Correct. I understand we can't book everything that comes our way, but is it that we 
but is it that we could be doing things wrong for that role and not get a call back or anything? Oh, good question, Orlando. Let me have some water. I'm parched. Since I read it like kind of mumbly jumbly in my mouth, great question. So let me just say it again for the people in the back. Basically, Orlando, who is a Hollywood Bound Actors member, we're doing a big push for Hollywood Bound Actors. Come on and join us. He's saying, look, I get that you can't call everybody in, but is it sometimes my audition just ain't good enough? Am I just doing something wrong? Uh -uh, come on. It's too much hair. It's too much hair on my neck. Whew, this hair is hot, y'all. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. This is what I, I've been doing this since I was a kid, literally making myself laugh. Um, here's the deal, Orlando. Yes, there is always a possibility that your audition may not be totally on point. But the, unfortunately, and this is this sucks because this is where we all get frustrated. Hey, Ernest, right? We get frustrated because we we don't get feedback. The only feedback we get, honestly, is two, there's two ways we get feedback. Both well, three. You either get a callback or a pin or put on a veil, right? Or um, you book the role, clearly, feedback. But the other way we get feedback, Orlando, is by getting called in again. Casting is so busy. As, as this casting director mentioned, they don't have time. It's like when you apply for a job, when those of you who work nine to fives, many of you do five, nine to fives, five to tens, you may apply to a bunch of jobs on Craigslist or LinkedIn, or you may have a headhunter, but they don't have time to send all of you like rejection letters. Can you imagine if casting spent their days sending rejection letters to actors? Not only would that mess with their brain, I really think, because you know, casting directors at the end of the day, they're just human, right? And who wants to be telling people all day, every day, you didn't get the part, like in a form letter? So just no news is bad news, right? Um, so yes, there is a possibility that your audition was not great, but you, unfortunately, it has to be an in, inner knowing that you just did a good job. Like that's what I'm going to be teaching in January. January 1st, Book More TV opens. That's my signature course. I'm so excited about it. But that is the stuff I'm teaching. So you just have an inside knowing that I killed that. Orlando, you have no, you have no clue how many auditions. I was looking at my spreadsheet today. I keep an audition Excel spreadsheet and I track every audition that I get. I highlight when I booked it. I highlight when I get a pin. And there's a lot of things that ain't highlighted, boo. And it doesn't mean I didn't do a good job. It literally, I just have to sit in knowing that I killed it. But if I'm sitting in uncertainty, if I'm sitting in, did I kill it? Was I good? Did I prep? If you gotta ask that many questions, the answer is no, as far as I'm concerned. I lead these auditions. I tape in this office like, killed that, ah. And sometimes people be like, you booked it? I'm like, I don't know, I booked the room. So it has to be, it has to be more Orlando. I say this for you, and I say this for two of my other male clients. You know who you are. A and C, you know who you are. I say this to you too, because it just has to be a, a knowing that cannot be an outside validation. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oh, he gave me a sad face. Don't give me the sad face. Thank you guys for hanging. So I'm just kind of tonight, I'm just going, I'm going to spend a few more minutes, maybe another 15 minutes, um, looking through my Hollywood Bound Actors uh, questions. It's just kind of a loosey-goosey Q&A. Every Wednesday, we welcome our new members by name, each and every one of you. We welcome you. Our whole community welcomes you. So if you're not a part of us on Facebook, come on and join us. Um, a lot of people are just making comments. Shout out to Sheila Moikangoa, who joined us back in August, and I actually just coached in a fast track session. So she good, honey. Um, okay, no questions there. People just saying hello. I wanna get some juicy comments, because I wanna honor these comments that came in. People are saying they're always looking for help to collaborate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to look for a juicy question that might serve you guys. This guy's looking for a place to stay. No. 
Um, I'm gonna give this shout out to Sebastian Julian. If you know Sebastian Julian with his fierce honey, his fierce photo. This is why I was trying to do my shared screen. But Zoom was not working with me tonight. I'm gonna try it again because we got to get to work. Shout out to Sebastian Julian. If anybody knows him, tag him. He was just asking for trying to find out where he can find auditions. So the best place to look for auditions is Actors Access and Casting Network. So ActorsAccess.com and CastingNetworks.com. Those are your two most legit sources. Please, for the love of God, stay away from Craigslist. We don't want nobody getting snatched. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, here's a good one. Shout out to Teresa Seal. Again, this is from April 10th of 2019. Every Wednesday, we welcome new members. And I don't have time every week to respond to everybody. So I know people are like, this is hella late, but better late than never. Shout out to Teresa Seal. If you know Teresa Seal, give her a shout out. She says, the question would be, what do I need help with? Honestly, I feel like I need some help with believing in myself. That's kind of a downer, I know, but it's true. I want to continue and I won't stop, but encouraging myself to find the open doors all by myself is really, really challenging at the moment. So the core of this was believing in herself. And this is for each and every one of us. You know, all we have to hold on to is the vision. And I know I sound like a broken record, but, you know, I, I coach a lot of people, a lot of actors who their spouse doesn't believe in what they do or their spouse thinks spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend might be a dream snatcher, may not understand. Why would you try to give up your stable lifestyle to do this kind of silly stuff that's irresponsible? And I will just say, if there's a knowing inside of you that loves this work, that enjoys playing pretend and having fun, you know, it doesn't have to look the same for everybody. The way it shows up for you doesn't mean that that's the way it shows up for me. You may really be happy doing community theater, a, lo a short film, writing your own film, you know, getting your iPhone and making a movie yourself. Like you just may be fulfilled in that way. Or you may be like, no, nah, I'm gonna go hard in the paint and I wanna be in motion pictures and I wanna be on network television, which will require a different level of, um, a different level of commitment, training, dedication, and, and y'all, we got to build these calluses up. Anybody who knows a drummer, like a djembe drummer, African drummer, they always, my ex-boyfriend from my, my first love used to tell me, he used to play djembe drums, and he would tell me, Christine, you got to build up the callus. The callus has to get built up here. Any guitar players, bass players, you know, you, you're picking, and you have the pick, but still your fingers have to get this type of callus to the point where it doesn't even feel the string hitting anymore. It feels it just enough to do the job and make beautiful music, but it doesn't feel each, each pick where it is a sting. And I believe in 20 plus years of being in this industry, I feel like I've just built my calluses up. They're just, my calluses are hidden. Your calluses are hidden, but they're there. And it's necessary. So that each time I hit the string, each time I hit the pavement, each time I do an audition, it's not so precious. It's just another thing that makes me stronger. But I have no desire to stop playing. A drummer does not desire to stop playing the drums. You know what I mean? So the belief in yourself, um, I'm gonna make sure I get your name right, Teresa, is um, it just starts with you. It starts with you. It can't be from an outside source. If you're just joining us, welcome. I'm Christine Horn. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 205. If you've missed any episodes and you're like, this is good, I like her, come on and binge me in, on YouTube and subscribe and show some love and leave a comment. What's up, Jaqueer? I see you. Say hey, TC Rose. Question from TC Rose. I'll do it in real time. Right now, we're just doing a q and I'm shouting out my Hollywood-bound actors family. So, hold on. Oh, y'all, sometimes I'll be talking so much. Tomorrow I got like four clients and I just need some prayers on that as I play with my hair. Okay, TC Rose says, if a great CD, AKA casting director, that everyone hopes to get in front of calls you in twice in a month, literally two weeks from each other, does that mean they like you and see something in you? Yeah, 
No, TC, it means she's you. She got you on the charity list. I'm teasing you because you you've been around for a long time. <laughs> Listen, y'all, stop thinking casting directors are doing you a favor. The feedback, Orlando just asked about feedback. If you are getting called in multiple times by a casting director, it is not because they just think you're a nice person and they don't want to hurt your feelings. They see something in you. You may not have been right for that role, or you may have been perfect for that role. Excuse me, and the director just wanted to hire his friend. Or they decided to go with another race or gender. I read for something yesterday, parent, parent for a huge blockbuster soon to be released film that I cannot tell you about. And it was like, man, woman, any ethnicity, any age. <laughs> That's the world, guys. Do you think I'm gonna sit at home and think, man, if I don't get it, I must have not done something right? Hell no. They don't know what they wanted. They just, they don't know yet. They don't know how it's gonna fit into the world. So if a casting director is calling you in more than once, it's because they see something in you that they like. And they're just me, it could be not yet. It's just, everything is not yet, not yet, not yet. Each, each time they call you back is another opportunity to wow them. And that's your responsibility to uh, show up as the best version of you, the best brand of you. Awesome, Instagram, y'all quiet. I don't see no questions on Instagram, so I'm gonna keep going to Hollywood Bond Actors. Again, I was trying to share my screen tonight. Zoom was acting a monkey, which is why I came on late, just to put Zoom on blast. Um, I'll be contacting their support team um, because I was trying to share my screen with you guys on Facebook. Nancy Powell, shout out to Nancy Powell. She asked where to find legit auditions. I think I answered that already. Actorsaccess.com and castingnetworks.com are your two legit spots. I'm going back in time. I'm going like picking random, random welcomes that have a lot of comments. <laughs> um, a lot of people looking to collaborate, okay, collaborate. It's so funny going back, I'm in a March thread right now and I'm seeing so many people who I've ended up working with since then. Okay, people from Texas, blah, blah, blah. No one's really asking any questions. Okay, there were some questions that came out this week. Let me go to today. Someone asked a good question today. Crystal, shout out to this. So, people, this is anybody who joined my Facebook group, Hollywood Bond Actors, today. My assistant, Razelle, welcomed you today. So, this is Crystal, I'm probably saying it wrong, Crystal Dupuis. She says, I currently do background work in New Orleans. Shout out to the NOLA. Um, over two dozen roles. I've never had a speaking role, and that's my dream. I don't have real headshots, and I'm looking for an agent. I love being on set, being involved in making film and TV, and I love making new acting buddies. Crystal, honey, let me just peep at you some game right now. Crystal, welcome to Hollywood Bound Actors. I'm so glad you're here and connected with us. Um, first of all, I want you to work on getting some new headshots. Your headshot is your calling card. You're not gonna be able to get a good new agent without some good pictures. Even if an agent does sign you, they still, if they're using crap photos, they can't, you're not gonna get called in to read for nothing because your photos are not gonna look good. Um, and doing background work is great, especially if you just need, background work is great for a couple of reasons. It gets you used to seeing how film and TV works. You get to see stuff behind the scenes. Um, I want you to not, for all of you who are watching me, the sound of my voice, um, if you have zero credits, like zero, maybe you're just getting started, maybe this has just been a dream idea. What I did, I'll tell you what I did. I used to do background work and I would try to get as seen as possible, like wherever the camera was. Shout out to Denise Rochelle, one of my inner circle clients. I told her this yesterday. I was looking, for, I'll be looking for the camera just so I could get some footage. And in the beginning of my career, I use that footage as my reel. 
I use that over a bad indie project or a, a movie I'm out of sh shot with my phone because it proved that I could look good on camera. When I would got my first speaking line, then I got rid of all of that and I stopped doing extra work. And if I still needed to do extra work, background work, I know the PC terms, if I still needed to do background work for the coin, I would, honey, I'll be in the back. Don't see me, I don't want the camera on me because here's what happens. When you get seen doing background work, if the camera catches you, you can't be on that show again, especially when we're talking TV. If you've been established as patron 85 over there at the buffet table and the camera catches you and you're so happy it caught you, if you will never be on that show again because you were established as patron number 85, you can't possibly now be the patient who comes in or the doctor. So there's a fine line in the beginning. You do it a few times just to see what's happening, maybe get some footage, great. Once you get a couple of footage, footage pieces, then it's time to, if, you're gonna, if you have to do it, get your check and hide. It's fine if you don't ever use me. It's fine if I sit on set for 16 hours and you never use me, no problem. I'm still getting overtime and I'm doing nothing but reading my books. So that's a lesson just to, for some of you who are brand spanking new. I know a lot of you are not there, but for those of you who are brand spanking new, that's the way to juggle that because you ruin your chances, especially if it's a show that shoots in your town. If you're shooting, if you live in a town that's a smaller market, um, like let's just say Atlanta, you live in Atlanta and you're an extra on the resident and you're like, I've been an extra on a resident for 10 times. Well, you're never going to speak. Let me say, never say never. Stranger things have happened. The odds are just small. Someone one day, maybe, 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 maybe down the line might give you a couple of words to say. But in the big scheme of things, they don't, that's not the first place they're looking. It's not like commercial work where extras get upgraded and you get more money and become a principal. It, it just, it's just a different world, different beast. All right, I'm gonna take a couple more questions. I'm gonna go back to the Hollywood Bond Actors um, Facebook page. Tonight was all about just honoring some of the questions my Hollywood Bond actors have already asked when they introduced themselves. Shout out to Eric Williams who joined and we shouted him out today. He says he's looking for actors to connect with. Um, Elise Gibson says she needs help getting a commercial theatrical agent and a manager and also booking film and TV roles. Again, Elise, look out for Book More TV that launches, all of you look out for Book More TV that launches January 1st. Um, and I launched Agent Attraction Method in around April because that's the next best time to look for an agent. Um, last question slash comment, and, and then I'll come to Instagram or Facebook, and then we'll wrap up for tonight. Um, Kiss is Kimberly Daniale. Somebody knows her. Tag her. Greetings from Atlanta. Help would be honored. Help would be honored with being more confident and owning the room. Ooh, this is a good, great way to end the night. My agent works so hard for me, and it would be awesome to get booked more often. The techniques I'm using seem to not be working, but it's confusing also because I do audition for the same casting director a lot. Ooh, Kimberly, that's so good. Can anybody relate? Put I can relate in the comments, even if you're watching the replay. Let me say that back. She said she's going in for the same casting directors, so clearly something's working. This goes back to UTC. And but she's not booking, she has great rep, but clearly something must not be working. So, so good, Kimberly. I'm gonna end on your, I'm gonna end on your comment. What's up Tuesday? Okay, she, uh, Sheila says she can relate. So if you're watching this later, um, I don't think I can tag her because I'm not friends with her. We'll tag them later. We shouted a whole lot of people out today, honey. They'll just have, they don't they have no people have no idea they're being shouted out tonight. <laughs> so I think this is a great way to end the night. And if you have a comment, you can certainly add your comment. But here's what I want to say about it. This kind of is a couple of levels. At the top, it was two years ago. I did a a, a thing called Booking Magnet Challenge, and I'll actually be giving that away as a bonus in the Bookmore TV course. 
but it was for those of you who were with me two years ago, we did this challenge live. And one of the things that came up was I had everybody keep two lists. Let me get me a Sharpie. Hang on. Hang on. So I had people keep two lists. I had people keep, keep a, um, a KDL. And I had people keep a QDL. So QDL, KDL. KDL is the keep doing list. QDL is the quit doing list. And it's pretty simple. You basically had two index cards where you wrote down, man, what was working this year? So as you go into 2020, man, what was popping? What worked? Every time I did blank, this happened. Or every time I did blank, I felt good. I felt like this. Hold on, my hair. You know, it's all about the hair. Got to be right. Right? But then there's also the, the QDO. Every time I did this, this happened. Every time I did this, I felt bad. Every time I did this, I felt nervous or anxious. Every time I did this, I just felt like I crumbled in the room. Only you know those things. And it's a time to get really transparent with yourself and really honest and make the two lists, the QDL and the KDL. So Kimberly, my advice to you would be, you're getting called back in by the same casting directors. I mean, really, you sound like TC here up in the group. You sound like Orlando who asked the question earlier. That is not, to, it's not a boost for your ego. They're not doing it to be nice. A lot of times casting just sees something. There used to be a show called Army Wives that was on Lifetime. Anybody remember Army Wives? I swear I auditioned for Army Wives at least 25 times. No lie. And guys, I never booked it. I auditioned for that show like 25 times over the whole span of the years as it was on. Because I kept, I was just like, this is ridiculous. And it gets to the point where you're like, just offer me a role already. Or what's the point? The thing about it is that casting director who's calling you back is fighting for you. They see your potential. They may see you and be like, man, in six months, she's going to be great. In six months, she's going to have it down. In six months, he's going to have it together. Maybe in six months, he'll get some coaching. Oh, he was almost right for this, but he, he went to this actor. It was almost right, but they went to an actor with more credits. But they're going to keep getting it because they see something in you. That's a casting director's job. They have a gift. They have an eye. And they see something in you. So your confidence, I would hope that your confidence builds, Kimberly, by the fact that you're being called in rep rep uh, repeatedly by the same person, by the same office. It should be. Let it, let that, let that fuel you. Let your preparation make you feel confident. If you're flying by the seat of your pants and you don't know what you're doing, then yes, you're going to feel unprepared, which will make you feel uh, less confident. So I'm going to get off my soapbox tonight. The key is the lessons I think tonight, and I'm going to keep showing up and keep uh, looking at some of the questions that are in the Facebook group so I can make sure we get to your questions. Um, again, um, I always do some special trainings just for our Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook community. So if you're not in it, please join us. Um, you can join us on Facebook, Instagram, the link is in my bio. Facebook, the link is above or below. And uh, so that we can welcome you next Wednesday and get your feedback and see what you need help with. But stay encouraged as we head into this holiday season. Keep brainstorming, dreaming, visualizing what is it you desire. Just know, ain't nobody got time to just be making you feel good. What I mean by that, some of y'all think these casting directors are just doing you a favor. And I promise you, they are not. They don't have the time for that. They, are, they have a job to do, period. They are tasked with booking roles. They are tasked with getting the job done, period. So take it, own it, know that you belong in the room, know that you're worthy and that you are gonna show up ready, all right? All right, set your timers, put it on your calendars. January 1st is coming, Book More TV opens, and I would love to have you there. Get your coins to the side, tell your family and friends you'll need some coins for Book More TV, 
if you desire to work in TV and you want my help, um, I'm ex really excited and pumped about it, like for real, for real. Um, have an amazing night. It's always great to hang. Instagram, thanks for hanging with me through the, fa the false start we had earlier. And I will see you guys soon. Good night.